axe, great swords. Let's see, studded helmet. Yeah, I don't think I need any of this stuff. Hmm? Some stuff. Let's see. Elf root, elf root of the edge. Huh. Do I need that? I don't know. about the same. Oh, this one has a longer range by a lot. Strength modifier. I'll keep them both. They're both good. Sell the boots. to making my stuff Again, is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? Mm -hmm. Let me know what you'd like. Potion now, and uh, whatever this does. That's cool. Make one more death room. Welcome, young man. <laughs> I am one of the Tranquil, my friend. I am of the Circle of Magi. But instead of casting spells and reading tomes, I spend my time enchanting. It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Enchantment provides the Circle its wealth. Certainly, we would not get by on charity. It is the practice of folding magical lyrium into items first practiced by the dwarves. The tranquil have learned their runes, and we use them to apply a variety of magical effects. We create the glow lights, as well as the magic staff, or the flaming blade. The irony, perhaps, is that it is our very disconnection to our former talents that allows the tranquil to work with lyrium so. A true mage could not. Uh, why not? Runes exist that hold the power of the elements that increase strength or swiftness. 
Almost any spell can be given permanency, given enough skill and lyrium. Naturally, the greater the power required, the more expensive the rune will become to create. True power comes with a price, as we know only too well. Allow me to put it this way. Do you know why those with magical talent are feared? Those with magical talent attract demons and spirits. We can be possessed easily and thus become horrors known as abominations. Even those with minor talents attract hungry spirits. Anyone with the power may learn blood magic from these demons. Hence, we are considered dangerous. This is our curse. Thus, I was made tranquil, stripped of emotions and talent. I am no longer dangerous. Hmm. You do? I feel nothing. As the name suggests, my existence is quite peaceful. Hmm. I am alive, productive, and no danger to anyone. Surely that is not a terrible thing. Perhaps we may speak of something else. Do you need assistance? God damn. Goodbye. Poor Tranquil. They fucking lobotomized. That course of action is inadvisable. Hmm. Have I been up here yet? I don't know. It doesn't look familiar. It also looks like... What is this? It's a servant elf. I didn't know elves could join the Grey Wardens. Amazing. Hey. I didn't know elves could join the Grey Wardens. Amazing. You are free. Go. I'm sorry, but there's so much to do before the battle. I must attend to my duties or I'll get the switch. No, you're free. Go. I think it's wonderful you became a Grey Warden. I don't need it and it seems to be all they have, so I'm not gonna take it. I might use it as a table or something. I just wanted my 5 XP from unlocking it. Well, I don't know. I guess if it was really nice it would have been tempting. Hail to you, Grey Warden. Yay. Hell to you too. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Mage. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The grumpy one. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know... One good thing about the blight is how it brings people together. It's like a party. We could all stand in a circle and hold hands. That would give the Darkspawn something to think about. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. Yeah, I'm a mage with a fucking bow and arrow. Hardly. I just like to know my chances of being turned into a toad at any given moment. Wait, I do know who you are. You're Duncan's new recruit, the Dalish. I should have recognized you right away. I apologize. Good. You didn't exactly catch me at my finest with the mage there. Yeah. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Alistair, 
the new Grey Warden, though I guess you knew that. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. <laughs> Honestly, nothing. Uh, try not to worry about it. It will just distract you. So I'm curious. Have you ever actually encountered Darkspawn before? Yeah. I've only fought them once up close. And that was before the battles here started, which Duncan has kept me out of so far. Tell me, did you find them as monstrous as I did? No, they were totally cute. <laughs> I'd read so much, but it just can't prepare you. I don't look forward to seeing them again. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. With the mage. The circle is here at the king's request, and the chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are, which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. I was once a Templar. Hmm. You don't know? Quick version then. The Chantry tries to control mages because they're dangerous. So they keep Templars that train to hunt down and kill apostates. That's what I was being trained as when Duncan recruited me six months ago. I'm sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger. And the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along. Apparently, they didn't get the same speech. You do? Huh, that's a switch. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. Yeah, Okay, I'll worry about that later. Okay, I need to go get my flower for the dog. Okay, well, I'm gonna take a little break now. And uh, I'll be back in a bit.